at the age of 12. This boy was reciting self-written poems on radio station. One would have bet on the odds that this young boy would become a poet. But destiny has its own way. To everyone's surprise, he grew up to become the best experimental physicist of India, Dr. Dipankar Das Sarma. I remember the first income in my life was by reciting my own poems over the All India Radio in a program that was meant for young budding poets. It must not have been too bad an experience for All India Radio because I got a second invitation from them. But unfortunately, by that time, I had already moved on and joined IIT Kanpur. So I couldn't take up this invitation. And that's where rested the possibility of a second alternate career in my life. Dr. Dipankar Das Sarma specializes in electronic structure of solid, strongly correlated electron systems, semiconducting nanoparticles, and conjugated polymers. He obtained his MSc from IIT Kanpur and PhD from IISC Bengaluru. Thereon, he has added extensively to various avenues of science as a research associate, professor, guest scientist, chairman, honorary professor, and adjunct professor to many science institutes and research centers in India and abroad. He has made significant contributions to the field of electron spectroscopy, materials synthesis, and in understanding their electronic, magnetic, dielectric, and optical properties, combining a variety of experimental techniques with theoretical investigations. After my IIT Kanpur, I came directly over to Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, for doing my PhD. Professor Siena Rao, even at that time, embodied a person of science and how science should be done. And he was extremely famous. And here I was, a particularly completely unknown student of Ayati Kanpur, but the kind of care and attention he paid to me was really astounding. Dr. D. D. Sarma has trained more than 15 PhD students. His research group has a repute of motivated individuals exploring radical scientific fundamentals beyond regular norms. He has taught us how to do, how to think independently. What I'd like to mainly say is the freedom of thought and the freedom of speech that we enjoy here, working here. Didi is a very good person. I can't describe him, but he is very caring also. And uh, in terms of both science and other personal issues, he's also very jovial. So we enjoy every moment. Not only does he let this family of young thinkers, but even back home, he belongs to a family of intellectuals. We were born into a relatively poor family. Though, I, it's sort of difficult to pin it down because it really didn't matter how wealthy our parents were. Ours is a very close-knit family of father, mother, my elder brother, about two and a half years older to me and a sister six years younger to me. I remember it was a very great fun time. Both father and mother were great intellectuals and with great potentials. I think my mother stood first in the school living examination among girls. And my father was evidently a great intellect and also with a great sense of literature. Abha, my wife, of 34 years. We got married in the month of May 1979, but I have actually known her much longer. We joined IIT Kanpur the same year in 1972. Since we had classes together, all science and engineering students for the first two and a half years of five semesters, we got to know each other quite quickly. And for the last 41 years, she has been a wonderful friend and a companion above everything else. She has helped me and participated in the excitement of life of the undergraduate student days at IIT Kanpur, the intensity of the PhD days 
at IIC Bangalore, the angst of going through the postdoctoral day where one did not know what was ahead for us. And then finally, through this long career of scientists and scientific activities where self-doubts as well as immense happiness came alternating every now and then. He proposed. <laughs> He, he proposed, yes. Yes, I understood, but uh, I mean, I told in my own way, yes. So, so that, you know. She also brought in a new dimension to our life by bringing three wonderful children into our life. Atish, Anish and Akash. Atish and Anish were born in 1982, a set of twins. And Akash came much later in the year 1991. There are three things that I cannot do without. Music, reading and sports. Music. Music makes you feel. Reading makes you think. And sports makes you compete against yourself. I've always been interested in sports. I was the athletics captain of the year at IIT Kanpur for one of the years. I was also a member of the football team at both IIT Kanpur and Indian Institute of Science. Let's hear the views of such science devotee regarding a few aspects of life. Why does dreams? Well, to borrow the words from John Muir, the mountains are calling and I must go. Humor. The best humor is an unexpected play of word that comes onto you in a flash, bring a smile to you, but departs slowly, giving you a deeper meaning of life. Indian politics. It would be tragic if you get used to it. About Pune. Great place, great people, great friends, and great cultural heritage, and above all, greatest bhakkarwaris that I've ever seen. Idea of successful person. My idea of a successful person in life is one who on his deathbed can say that given a chance, once again, he'll live it the same way, essentially the same way. That's a person whose life has been a successful one. His credentials enlist several thousands of citations, more than 300 scientific papers, including many national and international awards. A remarkable scientist, inspiring teacher, a true companion, a caring father, poet, sportsman, Dr. D.D. Sarma truly embodies a successful, versatile personality and human being.